In this video, we will configure AWS for local development. First, you need to log into the AWS console and then search for the IAM Identity Center. Inside the IAM Identity Center, click the Enable IAM Identity Center button. At this point, you may be asked to enable with AWS organizations or enable in only this AWS account. Choose Enable with AWS organizations and click Continue. To help automate a number of steps that simulate the operations of setting up a user in the IAM Identity Center console, we'll go ahead and open up Cloud Shell to do this more quicker. Click the Cloud Shell button in the bottom left-hand corner. Next, we'll paste in a piece of text here to enter an email address. Go ahead and enter your email address that you want to have associated with this account. After hitting Enter, go ahead and copy and paste this text from the docs. You may get a warning about multi-line text paste. Go ahead and just click paste. Now to make sure everything works, run this printf command. This will give you your start session URL, region, and username. You'll need this information for later, so make sure you write it down. Let's go back into the dashboard and reset the user. Click on users on the left-hand side. You should see amplify admin. Click on amplify admin, and then click the reset password button at the top, and then you can just click reset password. Go ahead and check your email that you have associated with this account that you just entered in and click the button to reset your password in that email. You should get a page like this. Go ahead and, and enter in a new password and confirm that password. And then click set new password. From here, I would double check to make sure that you can log in. So enter your username. In this case, it'd be amplify-admin and then enter in that new password. It should redirect you to a page to register your MFA device. Go ahead and choose the one you prefer. In this case, I'll use the built-in authenticator. Afterwards, you can just click Done. From here, you'll need to set up the AWS CLI, and this will depend on what OS you're using. Click the link in the docs to continue. Just follow the steps either for Linux, Mac OS, or Windows. After you have the AWS CLI installed locally, we'll need to now set up your local AWS profile on your system. Run AWS configure SSO. This will ask you for a few pieces of information. First, for the session name, use amplify-admin. For the start URL, in this case, I'm gonna open up my Cloud Shell again, and I'm gonna copy and paste the session start URL. And then I'll paste it in. For SSO region, I'll put in US East 1. For the registration scopes, I'll just hit enter. And now it'll make me log back in. If you're not logged in, it will require you to log in. I'm already logged in, so I'll just click confirm and continue and I'll click allow access, and then it will be approved. You'll need to then go back to your CLI and finish the setup. So I'm gonna use US East one here for my default client region. Output format, I'm gonna hit enter for none. For the CLI profile name, I'm gonna choose default. And that's it, it should be set up. Now realize that any time, if you're using the terminal, you may need to log in again. So to log in, you just need to type in AWS SSO login and this will open up a page so you can log in. If you're an existing app, you can set up Amplify by running npm create amplify at latest. To begin running your app in an ephemeral sandbox environment, you can run the npx ampex sandbox command. You may see a message that your region hasn't been bootstrapped yet. This will open up a new page, click the initial setup now button, and this will bootstrap your account and region that you're in. At this point, go back to your terminal and run the npx ampex sandbox command again. This will then create the sandbox ephemeral environment. If you receive an error, you may need to run AWS SSO login again.